Hey everybody, Mark Clem here with Realty One Group Coastal. Hope you're doing well. We are here doing a virtual open house today. Um, obviously, we want to keep everybody safe and healthy, so um, I thought what better way to keep everybody safe to be able to see this home from the comfort of your own home. Um, I'm going to pull up one of my screens here so I can kind of show you where we are um, with this open house. So it's in Somerville in the Cane Bay Plantation. Um, so we're going to zoom right in um, to that location here, I think, and fly right in. So you can see Charleston at the bottom and Somerville at the top. And this here is the Oaks of Cane Bay uh, community that you see here. Um, you see the red dot is the house 316 Beach Grass Lane. And uh, you can kind of see that there it's on a pond lot right there. Um, there is a pool um, that is uh, pretty much within walking distance. Um, over to the left, that other pool is the Lindera neighborhood. At the bottom of your screen right now is Sanctuary Park. And this main road going right here is Cane Bay Boulevard. So as you come up 176 from Cane Bay Boulevard, um, the Oaks will be on your right. It's after the first rotary and uh, it's about two miles from 176 in the public shopping center if you know where that is um, if you're not from here it's on um, the eastern side of somerville the northeastern side of uh, the town of somerville um, we are going to uh, show you the floor plan first and then um, i've got a bunch of um uh, shots from inside the house outside the house we'll talk about the community a little bit and um, hopefully we'll get to answer some of your questions too I'm gonna try to do a good job of looking at uh, the comments here uh, but if I miss any I will go back and uh, catch on those after um, so let's take a look at the floor plan together here first um, this is the lot let me see if I can blow that up for you a little bit <clears throat> The, this is the plot that the, the house is on. Um, as you can see, it has a large patio that they added on. That was an extra. Usually it just comes with that little six foot by six foot. This patio on the back is actually 15 by 10. Um, the other good thing, uh, just looking at the lot here, uh, again, it's on the pond lot. It doesn't have a fence, but you can fence it in. The back um, part on the pond just has to be four feet and your sides can be six feet. Um, I know a lot about this community here because I live in the community as well. So I think it's really great. Um, this driveway is extra long. Um, as you can see, there is a sidewalk here. Um, but even with the sidewalk there, you could easily fit four cars plus two cars in the garage. Um, I think with no problem at all. Um, let's get to the floor plan here. Pull that up. This, is, uh, this model is built by Beezer. It's called the Marshall. Um, and this particular one is just about 3,700 square feet. Uh, it has five bedrooms and three and a half baths. I'm sorry, four and a half baths. Um, and so this is kind of gives you the first floor plan look before we get into the house. So you can kind of get situated and, and know where, where everything is. Um, you've got your great room and family room. In the middle of the kitchen, there's like a uh, eat-in kitchen part if you want to. Otherwise, it flows nicely right into the kitchen. There's a bedroom um, with a bathroom. That's one of the three en-suites downstairs here. And then uh, the two-car garage is in front of that. It has a separate dining room. It has a separate study or office. There's a drop zone right here along with a half bath there. When we look at the second floor... Um, the master bedroom is off the back, so you got this great view of the pond out your windows right here. Um, this whole back side is basically uh, the master bedroom. So um, you have her walk-in closet here, or his. Actually, this probably would be hers, um, and that would be his because this is a lot bigger. So I'm assuming that would be hers, but maybe not always. I know a lot of guys with uh, sneakers um, and, and clothes more than women sometimes, so you never know. Um, you've got a linen closet right here, um, and then the bathroom's a little bit different on this model because they upgraded where they have the tub in the corner. Uh, let's see if I can show you that. It is right here. So it has the tub in the corner, and then a vanity here, a vanity here, plus the, the shower stall there too. 
Um, so let's go get into the video. I'm going to pull that up full screen um, so that you can see all of the house. So this is 316 Beechgrass Lane. And like I said, it's five bedrooms, four and a half baths, over 3,700 square feet. This is a great aerial view. It's only five years old. Um, and again, it's on that pond lot. Um, and I think you could see the neighbors there. They had their fenced in yard. So as you enter the home here, you're gonna see this separate dining room. Um, these people love to do puzzles. So that is their puzzle area because they have so much space in this house. Um, off to the other side of the door is this office. Um, you could use it as a study, an office. You could probably even use it as another bedroom if you wanted to add a closet. And then we kind of move down into the house a little bit. This is a great drop zone right next to your half bath. Um, so hopefully, um, you know, that would be plenty of room for your kids stuff and all. And then as we tour around here, that closet right there um, is a, uh, like a coat closet. And as you're coming in to the home here, you're gonna see uh, this huge living room. Um, so it's already got the ceiling fans in it. They have blinds up already. You can see the pond right through the windows there. Um, just a huge space and it flows really nicely. This is the butler's pantry right off the garage. Um, and then uh, you can kind of see here how it kind of flows all the way across. So you have that nice eat-in area right there, but this island is humongous. This is one of the biggest islands in all of the 300 homes in the Oaks at Cane Bay. Um, I don't think they make them that big anymore, to be honest. Uh, again, here's the butler's pantry, another great drop zone. You could hang some hooks there. The garage is off to the left there as well. This um, kitchen does have the electric double oven, so you can see that there. And again, take a look at that huge island. Um, stainless steel appliances, as you can see, it's got the wine rack there. Um, if you look here, we're gonna get a good shot of right out the back window so you can see that beautiful pond lot as well. This is the downstairs bedroom with the bathroom, one of the en suites, and now we're gonna um, head upstairs. Here, we're looking at your huge loft. As you can see, they have two couches in here. They use it as a great playroom um, and area. Um, uh, over to this side here, uh, to the left of the loft as you're going up the stairs, this is one of the bedrooms. This bedroom and the next bedroom are the only two bedrooms that do not have a bathroom inside of them or they're not en suites. Um, but they are really close to the bathroom. I think you saw the light there. Uh, coming out when we were focusing down the hallway. We'll go down the hallway and hit that bathroom next But as you can see they're really large um, bedrooms that are on the front side of the house um, Here is the hallway to the back ensuite and then you have this bathroom which those two bedrooms could share Seeing every other bedroom in the house um, has their own ensuite The double sinks are great um, so each person could have their own sink that's a utility closet there. And then here is the upstairs ensuite. Um, they have a, uh, uh, they use it as a teenager type room right now, um, but it could be for anybody. It could be a great in-law suite as well. So all the rooms in this house are huge. We're gonna see uh, that bathroom that's back here. It's a full bathroom. It's got the, the regular shower tub combo uh, with the vanity and all. All right, we're gonna head down, back down the hallway here. Here is the laundry room. This is the back side of the house now. Um, as you can see, plenty of room in there. You might even be able to fit a little folding table. And then we're into the master bedroom here. Um, again, this master bedroom has a great view out into the pond. Uh, we'll twirl around here in a second and I'll show you that view uh, that you can see really from the opposite side. Check out the uh, recessed ceiling at the top there and there's your view out to the pond that you can see right there. Plenty of room as you can see they have a desk in there that again already ceiling fans in all the rooms and um, I think it's a great 
great space for sure. Let's head down this hallway. The first door on the left here you can see is one of those closets that I was telling you about. Then there's that linen closet. And then we're gonna get into um, the master bath here. And as you can see, it has the tub and the two um, vanity areas along with the shower to the right there. And uh, your toilet is off to the left as well. Um, we're gonna see one of those closets here next, I believe. And you'll just see how huge that closet is. Um, so plenty of room for whatever you need to fit in there, clothes and um, they even have a dresser in there and things like that. Uh, here again is uh, the shot on the front of the house. And let's talk about the community a little bit. So as you can see, the pool's right there on the left. The house is that one without the fence on the right there. You can see how big that 10 by 15 patio is from this aerial view here, uh, which is great uh, for putting your grill out there. You can fit another table. Um, the amenities here in the Oaks, we love them. Um, it's got the play area for the kids off to the left there. It's got some, some splash zone area um, that is really shallow. So mom and dad could sit right there on the edge and play with their kids. Or um, And then you got plenty of room to swim too because you got those full lap lanes. Uh, as you can see, plenty of chairs to have fun with. This parking lot here you see for the pool is not only the parking lot for the pool, um, but pretty much every weekend there's something going on uh, here, um, Not at, at least in the spring and the summertime. Uh, they'll have food trucks and there's always a holiday event. Um, our HOA does a really great job in, uh, and our social committee does a really great job in setting up those events. Um, obviously, uh, we still have food trucks going on during our, our health uh, issue right now, but uh, we're trying to keep distant and socially distant from each other. Um, but they even did a driveway picnic here uh, a couple days ago. As you can see, off to the right, there is a little library as well for kids to swap out books and things like that. And it's got the play area for smaller children. This is just an aerial shot of Beach Grass Lane. That road that's in the front towards the bottom of your screen there is the road, um, the house that we're talking about, 316 Beach Grass is off to the right. Um, but this road wraps back around to uh, Basket Grass Lane. Here's another shot of the pool and the pond and the house is up top to the left. Those cars you see at the very top is Cane Bay Boulevard and then beyond that was Sanctuary Cove. Here, um, less than a half a mile down the street is the YMCA. Um, from what I read, it's one of the biggest in the entire Southeast. Plenty of ball fields, as you can see. Um, the camera's gonna roll around here off to the right and you're gonna see tennis courts. Um, it's got a huge gym. It's got an indoor walking track in there. So you can choose to become a member of this if you so uh, choose to do that. Uh, it's a great facility if you're into working out and, and uh, enjoying all of the sports that they have to offer, soccer and baseball for the kids and all kinds of stuff. And again, it's only a half a mile right down the street. Here is the front of the neighborhood. Um, off to the right, you're gonna see 176. Straight ahead where those cars are going from side to side is Cane Bay Boulevard. At the top of your screen is Cane Bay High School. And then as we roll the camera here to the left, you're gonna see at the top Cane Bay Middle and Cane Bay Elementary School. Um, the Publix Shopping Center has a Publix. You have haircut, you have a family's Italian restaurant. Um, there is a little uh, novelty gift store there. Um, you have a Mexican, you have a dentist. Um, you have a chiropractor here. Um, towards the middle of the screen, top left, is uh, Cane Bay Academy and Church of Cane Bay as well. So again, this community here is the Oaks and uh, we hope that you liked this virtual open house. Um, I didn't see any comments coming in yet but um, I will be sure to respond to those. Um, again, if you'd like to see this home or any other home, please give me a call. I would love uh, to show you this home or of course, give your realtor a call and uh, I know they would be happy uh, to set up that showing for you. Um, and uh, hopefully this, again, this virtual tour helped. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and we'll get answered to them right away. 
I hope everybody is staying safe and healthy, and I hope you have a great day. Thank mm -hmm. you.